Hello everyone. Today I am going to deal with one of the very interesting topics in this course and this is the grading of plant products. Now uh, throughout the course you have gone through variety of the medicinal plants and all the medicinal plants were explained with its particular attributes, medicinal values. So today we will discuss about the grading of those plants and their products. Here it is very necessary to understand that all the plants which we have studied they are having the specific values and that values are its health, then wealth and third one its beauty. All these three parameters are giving the specific value to the plant and this value is very important for us because on the basis of this value, on the basis of its importance for our health, for our wealth and for our beauty we are using these plants so amongst these three all properties we want to focus on very important aspect of the health because these plants are very important for our health and they are working for our benefit so let me talk about this one aspect of the plants and this is the very important research paper you you will be able to see and it is highlighted that next uh, five years or hereafter the medicinal plants or the use of plants in the medicine will be of the greatest importance will be of the value which will end cash in the market so this is the very important aspect and it is very important to understand for every uh, learner of the botany that we can and cash this value of the plant with the help of its application in the medicinal industry because we are now uh, in the era where we are diverting ourselves from the modern drugs to the classical drugs classical drugs are the plants which are having the medicinal properties or we are using the plant medicines for our health uh, benefits for our medicinal uh, important inputs in our body and these were in the earlier years it was definitely from the medicinal plants which was uh, supposed to be the ayurveda then we shifted our attention to the modern medicine and now it is the time where entire humanity is coming again to the medicinal plants these plants are the treatments using the plants is very important because of variety of the characters you will be able to see that there are different characteristic features in which these plants are having the natural origin these plants are giving you the good support and that support is to your health system that support is to your immune system and this support will be definitely multidimensional we will not say that these plants will cure only the disease these plants will be benefiting in n number of properties this will be giving you the immune uh, boosters this will be giving you beautiful attributes of your body this will be giving you with uh, treatment without any side effect this will cure your diseases so all the way this is called as the homeostatic intelligence of the plants and this homeostatic intelligence we are using and now therefore now it is the shift from the modern medicine to the classical medicine and that classical medicine is the plant originated medicine so this is the actually natural medicine and this natural medicine is not very new one this was the very old where we have used the plants for curing the diseases for uh, getting the things as per the normal conditions of the body of any individual so this is the natural medicine which was there in use 60,000 years before this present time so this natural medicine or this plant medicines are very important because they are having the good sense that they are not at all having any risk because they are not having any side effects and one more thing these are naturally available because of that it is the plant material which is having the very reduced value which is having the lower cost as far as this uh, herbal medicine is concerned and its cons are concerned these attributes these properties 
or medicinal characteristics of the plants are depending upon the specific life stage of the plant because of that you have to get the proper knowledge about the specific stage in which the plants are having the proper medicinal values and secondly they are completely dependent on the environmental conditions so these are the two important limitations when we are uh, using in the plant material as the medicine now this is called as the herbal medicine now this herbal medicine is the specific use of plant as a whole or this is the use of plant parts for a specific purpose and that purpose is definitely the medicinal use of those plants this is the uh, use of a specific process using the plants to heal some sort of a problem or to prevent the disease or to prevent the sickness or to fight with the sickness we are using the plant material secondly this plant material will give you the immune support your immune system will be strengthened by using this uh, medicinal plants and these applications of the plants are having the history of thousands of the years and that's why it is well tested documented and used in the literature so this is now the shift of specific modern medicine to the classical medicine classical medicine in the sense that this is giving us the importance of the natural flora in the benefit of our health so there are different plants and their products which are useful for our purpose this is the specific term plant when we apply that the plants are as the medicinal product then definitely these are the living one mine well this is the living plant which will be useful as the examples are fruits vegetable tubers bulbs rhizomes all the plant uh, parts which are live that should be live in nature secondly if we think of the plant products then these plant products will be coming out of the plant life and they are the byproduct of the plants and these are like uh, powders made up of the plants which will be dyed and they will be uh, finely powdered or the oils oils which are synthesized by the plants or definitely there are different mixtures which will be useful for production of the uh, medicine this medicine is coming out of the synthesis of some materials from the plants in their different lifespans so these plants and plant products are having the different ways of its application initially these plants are used in the raw material this raw material will be either they will be used in the raw or they will be used as the processed material in case of the raw use of material we will directly use the material say for example we are directly using the bark of any plant for the purpose of getting its uh, kind of a formulation when we are using it raw then it will be different or else we will produce some sort of the material out of it for example we are producing a powder and that powder will be processed further for its application whereas in case of the other way that is the processed plant products these processed plant products will be either a simple process or it will be a very complex process through which you will get the proper medicine so either of these ways either you are using the raw material or you are using the process material definitely this is going to benefit your health status this is the raw material which we use that will be either the plant product in the form of a powders or it will be directly the plant material without any process whereas in case of the others that is the processed plant products they will be processed for preparation of the uh, extracts preparation of the decoctions preparations of the powders or all the other ways in which the material will be processed further with the complex uh, processings so these are the two ways in which the plant products will be useful now for this uh, application we need to identify the potent plant potent plant means what potent plant means this is the plant having the value this is the plant with the potential to cure potent plant means this is the plant with the potential to cure your disease to heal your 
disease. Now, this is the uh, way in which we will go for the establishment of the plant products. This is the first uh, line of thought that is we will have the exploration phase. Now, in case of the exploration, what we will do? In case of exploration, we will identify one active component from the potent plant. Secondly, we will have the toxicology st uh, studies of this plant product or the plant part. Third, we will get the clinical trials of this whatever we have uh, got that will be either a chemical compound or that will be a kind of a molecule or a complex from the plant and after the clinical trials there will be formation of the new drug whereas in the other case it is the formulation wherein the information was stabilized and we are verifying the information whatever information is available that we will verify and that verified information will be taken further for the formulation of the drug and then that formulated drug that formulated material will be used for the trials and that will be resulting into the specific formation of the drug which we will promote as the plant product which is the processed one. Now either of these ways exploration studies or the formulation studies in both the way we are uh, heading towards the formation of the uh, medicine and that medicines will be useful for our health. Now, one of the very important terms we need to understand that is the reverse pharmacology because we are in need of the uh, decrease in the cost and time efficacy of the particular use of plants. Now, for this purpose, there is the specific way in which the reverse pharmacology will go on. Here it is the first one that first step of formation of any medicine is getting the knowledge of uh, from the experiential benefits or experiential uh, uh, availability of the information will be used from either the documented one or from the uh, available pathies which are in use by tribals or which are in use by Vaidus or all whatever are their experiences that experiences will be used for the further uh, process secondly once this ex uh, experience is there that experience will be validated by having the exploratory studies and once we have conducted the exploration studies then finally we will have the experimental studies it means that whatever information was available with the vaidus that will be explored further for its validity and then now it is ready for the experimentation in case of that experimentation we will apply those medicines to the patients for its trials throughout this process there will be a very important basic and clinical research which is involved for the purpose of its tolerability studies for its interactions for its dose range or its activities and this study will be either in vitro or in vivo or in both the ways we have to validate the claims which are there in the existence in documents so this is the way in which we will have the formulation of the drug in case of the reverse pharmacology now the very important one that how we will grade the plants and their products because this gradation is very important as it is considered as the quality considerations this quality considerations are very important because this quality of the material will give you the quality product and for that purpose we have to analyze or we have to uh, formulate some sort of the parameters through which we will go and say that this is the good quality material for use as the medicine in this case very important and uh, foremost uh, uh, important aspect that we have to get the proper identification of the plant many of the times uh, what happens that the plant is not correctly identified and similar plants are used for the medicine instead of the uh, plant which was claimed for its property instead of using those plants we are having the other plants which are having similar characteristics of that for that purpose very importantly and first priority should be given to the identification of the plant at the species level once you identify then it will be sure that you are having the correct entity for your application second important one that whatever plant you are using as the medicine that plant should have the better health condition good health condition in fact so that good health condition of the plant is very necessary this will be important parameter next one that is the phenological stage Phenological stage means what? Some of the plants are having its important uh, medicinal value in its 
vegetative stage some of them are having the importance in the reproductive stage or some plants are having its important attribute only when its set setting will be there so these phenological stages these life stages of the plants are very important and you need to understand that in what stage this property is very uh, much available in the plant material so that is the case where you will get the particular material in a specific life stage of that plant next it is the weather conditions in which you are collecting the plant material say for example it is it was suggested that you need to collect this plant in the month of july and you are collecting the same plant in the month of march then definitely whatever were the characteristic features of the plant was there in the july month that will not be available in the month of march because weather conditions in both the months are different so that's why it is it has to be very well documented and you need to take uh, into consideration that what exactly is the suggestion in which weather condition you have to collect the material then very importantly you have to collect the material from the right place right place means what say for example uh, in case of our uh, region we have the uh, treasure of the biodiversity as the mega and it is the plant which is available in uh, chitra chowk of the amravati because of its heavy pollution that plant is having uh, changed its properties and whatever conditions are available in the mega definitely they are the very healthy conditions that's why what will be our preference our preference will be from the natural place we need to collect the material instead of the collecting it from the polluted environments so this is the case where you need to understand that we need to collect the material from the right place then we should have the proper sorting of the produce because once you collect the plant material then definitely it will be a clubbing of different uh, materials with you then you need to sort it out sorting of the material should be very important because many of the times it happens that wherever we are collecting the material that place is house of the variety of the materials and from that material you need to get the proper material out of it and for that purpose sorting is the very important one so the sorted materials are having the good quality definitely we will place it in the higher grades then whether there is any involvement of any foreign material if the foreign material is there in the material which you have collected then you need to remove those foreign materials foreign materials means what any material which is not the part of that plant so we have to remove all other things from the material and then we need to take very utmost care of the thing that the plant material should not have any kind of toxic weeds with it because it is the uh, synergistic effect of the environment that all the plants are living in association with the others mainly it is uh, happening with the microbial flora it is happening with the fungal infections it is happening with the weeds definitely there are the plants but all of them are causing negative impact of the medicinal property of the plant itself so you have to be very careful that the plant material should not have any kind of a toxic weeds around it and lastly it is very important that you should take care of the conservation status of the species whatever properties are there in the plant if that properties are of the plant which is the endangered plant then definitely you should restrict your use because its conservation status is alarming and that's why you have to prefer all those plants which are readily available which are heavily available which are uh, abundant in any place that should be our priority and that should be the top grade plants so these all nine parameters are the parameters which are called as the quality consideration parameters once you have gone through all these parameters and given the uh, good quality remark to the plant then definitely this will be called as the grading process now as this grading process will be there for different areas different uh, regions then this is having specific legal obligations and its controls this all is in control of the international body and that is uh, called as the phytosanitary controls and this phytosanitary control will be as the term indicates that is uh, the 
sanitary control of the plant means it is the uh, hygienic condition of the plants which are very important and that should be verified and it will be certified by a specific system that is called as the traces NT system traces NT system means what this is the trade control and expert system to register the plant materials to register the plants and the materials for its medicinal properties and it should be having the specific certificate of inspection for the organic products means whatever the product you are using from the natural source that product has to be certified and that certificate is called as the certificate of inspection and once this uh, entire process will be completed then it will be okay for transport okay for acceptance in the medicinal industry again some of the plants are uh, having the application in the dead form they are called as the food plants that are also uh, very importantly limited to the specific use and that will be under control and that controls are called as the food safety controls so the plant has to get the food safety controls certification from the specific agency wherever you are having the cut and frozen plants in case of those you have the food safety control otherwise certificate of inspection is enough when you are using the plant directly as a whole or as a part so these are the legal obligations for this purpose we need to have the particular plant passport you will be very uh, much Im impressed with the term that plant passport because passport is having all the things of an individual included in one document and similarly we should have the plant passport this is the identification of the plant with respect to all those quality considerations and it is having the particular uh, information coding document and that is called as the plant passport so this all will be carried out with the help of the variety of the research center available uh, in variety of offices and that offices are having their international significance and these all offices are coming under one convention that is called as the sites convention this is the convention on international trade in endangered species of wild fauna as well as flora because as it was referred in the quality considerations you need to understand the conservation status of the plant and that's why this sites convention will verify that the conservation status of the plant is not endangered it is not rare and if it is the endangered plant or rare plant then what quality of its application we are taking if it is the life-saving plant then definitely we will go for it otherwise for the general purpose these plants will not be allowed to use and one more thing because today we are in the world of the genetic engineering so this should be certified that this medicine is the non-gmo non-genetically modified organism because genetically modified organisms will have the different properties and that's why you should say that this plant is not the genetically modified organism which we are using as the medicine so these are all are the supporting documents which you have to produce when you are claiming for the application or use of the plants now what exactly are the ways in which these all graded materials we can use so while using those plants first and foremost it is the preparation of the capsules capsules term will take you to the modern medicine but these are the capsules of the plant materials so these capsules will be prepared secondly tinctures will be prepared tinctures means what tinctures means whatever is the plant material that will be soaked in the alcohol and when it will be extraction of the material in the alcohol then that extracted alcohol will be used as the tinctures for example you are aware of tincture means uh, we know that only one product that is the iodine iodine tincture is the extracted iodine in the alcohol with the soaking process this is the tincture of any material any material can be used for the preparation of the tinctures glyceride glycerides are the extracted material only in case of extraction process carried out in the glycerin so they are called as the glyceride glycerin extracts next is the poultice poultice means in marathi we used to say that it is the lape 
or plant material will be crushed in the water and used as the overlapping material or the bonding material. So that will be the poultice which is again coming from the plant material then decoctions. Decoctions means it will be a boiled material and decocted the entire contents simple it is the extraction at the greater extent with the decoction process you will have the highly concentrated content and that concentrated content will be useful for the further purpose then infusions in case of infusions again there will be a soaking process and that soaking process will be giving you the material and finally some of the ointments that ointments are prepared with the help of the plant materials so overall these all are the herbal remedies which are in the different forms either it will be capsule or tincture or glyceride or voltice or deco uh, decoctions or infusions or these are the ointments so overall these all are the plant products which we can prepare and we will see all uh, these products i think uh, i have to deal with the decoction first extraction so these are the processes other processes will be again dealt in the different lectures but uh, in the next lecture we will see how we can extract the plant material so for this topic this is the entire content wherein you can very well document the quality considerations or quality parameters of the plant to grade it as the good or bad plant material so in the next lecture we will deal with the extraction process and for this uh, quality gradations we will go through one quiz and that quiz will be available on the uh, same link in the google classroom thank you thank you very much